What does art mean to you? Well, this is what it means to me. We're embarking on a great adventure right now. And thank you for embarking on it with me. This channel is going to be an embodiment of many things, as I'm going to say in the video here. But one of the things that I'm most passionate about is my art. And I want to show you all what I draw with, how I plan on drawing with it, and what's to come as far as my plans for the drawing videos and just overall talking and discussion to not only see what's on my mind, but to see what's on your mind as well. So thank you very much for tuning into this video and I hope you enjoy the content that's to come in this video, not just here, but also in my channel as well. So here we go. So before I actually talk about some of these things, I just wanted to say, whatever you can afford really, just go out and get it. Just Even if it's like the generic alternative dollar store brand stuff, just get what you can and just draw. It doesn't have to be the top of the line, most expensive stuff to be a good artist. All you gotta do is just draw and just be passionate about it. And that is what makes you an artist. So let's get started here. I have, basically with my style, I prefer to always pencil my stuff before. So instead of, I've, as of, over the years, I've really learned what my style, what I kind of prefer to do is. So I prefer using the mechanical pencils whenever I want to just draw something with penciling to begin with. So I usually get whatever is 0 0.5 and I just mess with them. So it doesn't really matter what brand I get. I mean, this one I got from the dollar store. These two were like just a random local art store. I think like AC Moore. They were pretty cheap. Um, so that's pretty much it. I usually get the 0 0.5. That's the size of the lid that goes in there. So you get more of a fine point to the penciling. And then I got these random erasers. Um, I don't even know what these are, but they work pretty decently. <laughs> just get whatever eraser you can and just see what works for you. Um, this one, I have no idea where my wife got these. She just had these in her art kit. And I just thought, I'm going to use these because you don't really... Because she doesn't use... The, what she does, usually colors. So she doesn't really need stuff to, to, to erase. And then with that, there's also different styles I want to work on more as you'll see as I go throughout this video because I have art supplies that I haven't even used yet that I want to in the future. So these are pretty good for shading. Um, these are uh, Dermot Graphic and you can see the different sizes of them on the, on the tip here. So 9B, 6B, 3B. I have no idea what exactly they mean but I know these are good for shading. And I'm not sure what else they're actually good for. I, like I said, I'm not used to having them. I just got them in an art kit a while back. And I just really like them. Um, the, I forget what it was. It was called the Art Box or something like that. It was a monthly subscription. I had it twice. And then, unfortunately, I had to cancel it. But I really enjoyed it because it was, it was really good, really good supplies. So these are the Prisma colors. These have lasted me a good while. And so the different sizes are on the on the tops here. You got C for the chisel tip brush, really good for inking when you want to get more thicker points out. Then you have the I know I have another chisel point because I've I bought two packs of these before in the past. And then I have uh, a 0 0.5 one left, or no, a 0 0.5 I mean. So this one's just a fine line marker, just it's decent. I don't know why it's not zooming in. I gotta figure out why my camera doesn't do that, even though I have it on the infinity setting, infinity focus. But these are pretty good. They've lasted me a good while. Um, usually they come in a four at a pack. I get them usually at my local art store, um, AC Moore or Michaels. But you can probably get them online for cheaper, but just, like I said, whatever you can work with or whatever you can get, get them. Oh, actually, let me go with these too. I'm just grabbing whatever, really. I didn't really plan how I was gonna do this video, to be honest. <laughs> But these are really good too. I got these at Joanne Fabrics, and these were cheaper than the Prisma colors. But I don't know. If, I don't know how much. I don't know as far as the length time, length of time, like how long they're gonna really last compared to them. But these are pretty good. I got them at Joanne Fabrics. Uh, I, I don't know what the brand because I've used them so often that the name has disappeared. Really, um, I'm gonna say Lowell, Lowell. Or now, I want it, maybe. I, I can't really see it too much, but this also comes in a four pack. It's a couple dollars cheaper, but you got the 05, the 03, 01, and I think there's a 005, something like that. So those are really good, really good for the different lines of markers. So basically, for those who don't know, you can use those and 
have just different detail, you know, where not all the lines look the same and it just makes the sketch, whenever you're inking it, pop all the more because all the lines look different and you emphasize certain things more. So with the Sharpies, I got these at AC More for a pretty decent price. Um, Usually these can be expensive depending where you get them are at where you get them at. So definitely highly recommend looking for sales wherever you go. There can always be a good sale for them, but always do your research because you might get ripped off actually depending on where you go. Like if you get these at a Walgreens or something, <laughs> unless it's like a really good sale, don't get them there. They're usually more more expensive than anywhere else. Or excuse me, they're usually more expensive there than anywhere else. So I got I got a couple of the fine point markers. These are really good. So you got just, you know, typical fine point, really good for getting certain details in and gets you that really crisp look. And these are actually what Butch Hartman pointed out to draw with or what he draws with too whenever he uh, does his inking. And then I have a brush one. This one is really good. I love these. I just started using these a couple, like two weeks ago. Oh, I'm in love. So I did get one of these uh, dual tip design markers by Premiere. These are really good. They're cheaper than the... Uh, Copic markers and the Prismacolor ones by quite a bit. I think for a single marker it's about four dollars, four or five, if you get them at AC More. The Copic marker is like eight dollars per marker, and the Prismacolor is about uh, six or seven, something like that. But these are really good. I enjoy this really well. I'll show you what they look like in a future video. Um, what, what, what was it with this? I got. You can get this. You can get a 24 pack of this at on eBay for like 24 bucks. I think even on Amazon if you look at the right in the right places. I definitely want to pick that up in the future. So these are those random uh, gel pens. Pretty self-explanatory. Use those for whatever basically. Just make sure sketches pop with different colors. Uh, my wife got these exact actually from Japan, or at least they were made and manufactured in Japan. And, you know, shipped out. Here. But I mean, most things are either made in China or Japan anyway. And with these, these are really good. These are the um, General's Pastel Chalk Pencils. These are awesome. I love these. These are really good for whenever you want to do tone paper. This one has been through war and back. I've done so many pieces with this. These are really great. And whoever, if you don't know what tone paper is, it's, I'll show these all in a future video, but they are different colored paper. So you have the traditional white paper, then the tone paper is like gray paper and uh, tan paper and those are exclusively for, for drawing. I'm not talking about construction paper. Th this is a different brand You know, it's specifically for Hardcore art and that didn't come out right, but whatever <laughs> um, So I have the R2 ink uh, rollerball. These are really good for uh, Typical inking as well if you want to go for a cheaper route as well these I got from the dollar store I think it was a two-pack for a dollar or something like that. These are really good. They last a really good uh, while wow, so I'm saying really good a lot so these are the pencil. These are the uh, what are they called? The lead refills. <laughs> the lead refills that come in come with every pack you basically order with the pencils and mechanical pencils. This I haven't used yet, but it's just a multicolor pencil. It has a bunch of colors with it. So one of you each. Uh, stroke is a, m a mixture of different colors. These are really good. I got, I, um, I got that as a present. But those are those are from, that was from. Uh, they got it from Ace More, from what I've seen. You can get those pretty cheap there. Just a random assortment of pencils. So this was part of the art box that I got a couple, almost a year ago. I haven't used it though. Uh, this is what I want to use soon though. These are watercolors. This is koi, and I actually do have a pen here somewhere that. It's supposed to go with this. It's like you press it and it soaks in the in the ink, uh, the it soaks in the paint, and then you can just. It's a brush too. I thought I had it. It must be on my desk up there. But I'll I'll, I'll show you guys after this. But these are really good. I heard these are really top of the line um, koi watercolors. So you have different colors here. Watercolors I've learned over years are probably going to be my most favorite thing to draw with because of how you do it. I mean, you use water on the paper and you just get just a more colorful thing with it. So this beast, this behemoth here, I got as a wedding gift from another art friend of mine, Jiraiya. So a couple different uh, color pencils here. Not really a brand it looks like. So they're just different colors. So I got 
these black ones and gray ones um, if, I, if I'm looking at them correctly I want to say that these are a little bit lighter and these a little bit darker I could be wrong though honestly I'm looking at the shades of them now and I want to say it's true like the shades are they do look different a little bit probably not from the camera but from my view they look different I got a bunch of other paints down here now these are art studio I believe that's the uh, brand so this is oil color you have what is this this was acrylic I believe acrylic and then there's the oil I want to say oh no this is watercolor and this is oil color so I've used acrylic in the past I don't remember using oil but I know I'm gonna be most interested in using the watercolor but I want to use all of these and see what's the best uh, what's the most favorite one out of them and let me know in the comments what's your favorite one so let's see what else I have here I know there's a little bit more under here and that'll be basically it for my for my uh, thing oh there's a little stencil in here I'll, I'll use this eventually but that's a little it's a little stencil once I figure out how you actually set it up, but yeah, there's that. And let's see what else here. So my camera doesn't like me, so sorry if I was rushing a bit through that video, but I didn't want to make it too long either because a lot of the art supplies, it's everyone knows about them to a degree, so I figured I didn't want to spend too much time talking about each little thing. This, I have no idea what this is. I know it's for... I know it's probably something involving the charcoal um, pencils down here, but like I said, I have no idea. But I've used these once before when I had when I took art classes in um, college, but um, I've only used them like once. I've never really delved too much into these, but I do look forward to using these. There are two rows back here, and if I rotate this, you can probably see it a bit better. So there's, you see two rows back there, and then I have a couple paint brushes. But um, this one was actually a little used, so that's why some stuff is missing. But as you can tell, most of the stuff is actually there. And I, I just got up just now to see where my how the art supplies is that I forgot to bring down for some reason. So. Uh, as you can tell, most of my stuff is actually tra traditional. I don't have too many fi uh, digital stuff yet, but that's uh, next on the list. I do own Photoshop, and I do have. I'm, I am getting a digital tablet. I'm getting. I'm, I'm planning on getting a, a Wacom or Bamboo, whatever you call it, uh, in the next couple weeks or months to start that up, and just some, you know, just some uh, pencil sharpeners. And then this was the brush I was telling you guys about. Uh, so I don't know what brand this is, but it has some kind of Japan, Japanese marking on it. And um, I know it's Japanese because it says it on here. <laughs> it says it's from Japan. So, um, so this is a brush pen. You basically take it off. You stick it in the in the paint, you squeeze, it sucks it up, and then you start painting. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I am looking really forward to using this. So that's pretty much it. Let me guys, let me know guys what you would like to see as far as different drawings, what you would like me to experiment with, and let me know what kind of art supplies you use if you're a fellow artist yourself, and um, what type of videos you want to see in the future that you would like me to draw and even just outside of the drawing videos as far as my podcast go my uh, Reaction videos, etc. I want to make this a nice entertainment channel that has uh, a couple different venues from it. I know most channels do and stick with one thing but I've seen a couple people out there that do multiple stuff and they're popular for it. I mean, they may not get stuff that everyone likes, but it's kind of hard to do that anyway. And it's, it's important to do things that you like and to bring enjoyment to others. And even if they may not like it, it's still something that you like and you're doing which you, what you're passionate about. So 
hope you did enjoy this video hope it wasn't too long and sorry for the uhs and just stopping and even so forth but I, I, I'm not used to doing videos like this it's been a long time but I look forward to doing more videos like this expect some more uh, traditional time-lapse videos coming soon and then when I get the bamboo tablet and whatnot expect digital pieces soon uh, the screen capture stuff you know all that good stuff and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as we go I'll do update videos on new stuff that I get and just showing you how I use it every time so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video the next art related video is going to be a tour through my sketchbook and just my art in general and then after that I'm going to show you my next drawing time-lapse video this one is going to be a surprise but it's going to involve Batman and it's going to be a parody of that so I hope you look forward to it it's going to be something I've never really seen on YouTube before and I've seen a lot of drawing videos I'm subscribed to a lot of art artists on here so I hope you look forward to it let me know any suggestions you want to see from me do and we'll go from there I plan on doing a lot of different things from serious to parody whatever and I would love to hear what you guys want to want to see from me so there we go later days until the wind hits our sails yet again <laughs>